when our stock hits our 200 minute moving average, that is the Great Wall of China. We are building blocks. That's what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Green and I'm a day trader. I started working on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange in 1985, and I started as a runner on the floor, taking messages back and forth. Over the course of the next 15 years, I had several different jobs on the floor, and I realized very quickly that you have to have some kind of plan if you're gonna day trade. This is something that absolutely can be done. We're gonna do it also in an easy to understand, non-intimidating way. One of our main focuses is gonna be on money management. And then we're gonna learn the actual technical analysis and learn when, where, why, and how to actually place our trades. But the most important thing that we're gonna learn is how to limit our losses. So whether you're a college student who maybe is looking to earn a little extra income, or maybe you're a retiree, if you take our course to heart, follow every single thing that we tell you, follow all the rules all the time, the odds are gonna be in your favor. Not only are we gonna learn all the things we need to have our solid foundation for day trading, but we're actually gonna have some fun doing it. Can't wait to see you in class. Hello, my name is David Green. I am the Director of Education at Equity Trading Capital. I have been in the trading arena for more than 25 years. I spent 15 years working on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and for the last 10 years, I have been trading, teaching, and successfully mentoring day trading students. The most important thing about day trading is getting a good education. The fact is that 90% of people who try to day trade fail. And I think the biggest reason for this is lack of education and not being given the proper tools to succeed in day trading. Here at Equity Trading Capital, our motto is learn once, earn for a lifetime. And the simple answer is that a day trader is someone who basically buys and sells stock during the day. What we try to do is take advantage of our technical analysis and other tools that we've been taught to make small amounts of money during the day that add up to bigger amounts of money during the week and at the end of the year. As day traders, we never hold positions overnight as that causes a great risk to our capital. How do I know when it's the right time to place a trade and how do I stop from being gun shy when things are lining up for me to make the trade? This is a great question and I can tell you that once you've learned your technical analysis and the stars and the moons light up, we should never hesitate to push that button. These are probably going to be the best trades that we're going to make. Usually your first instinct is the right instinct. The only thing that will make this come easier to you is time. This is a problem that all students have when they first begin. Why? Because they're afraid that they're going to lose money. This will ease over time as you see trades set up over and over again. And eventually, you'll be able to pull the trigger when it's the right time and make the most money of that trade that you should be. The question that I'm often asked is, sometimes when I'm trading during the day, I find my mind wandering. Sometimes I might even put on an iPod and listen to some music while I'm in a trade. Well, I can tell you that this is a recipe for disaster. When we are trading, we must have 100% concentration on every single trade that we're in. This will give us our best chance of being successful in trades. If we are just throwing darts in a board and picking spots where we're going to trade, we have very little chance of succeeding. We must concentrate 100% of the time when we are trading. Great question. How do I know when to take profits out of a trade that I'm in? There are several different ways we can execute this trade. The first is by our technical analysis. Now this depends on what kind of trade that we're in. Are we looking for a retracement? Have we made a trade based on our moving averages? If it's a trade that we've made based on our moving averages, we should let our charts tell us when to get out of the trade. 
a big mistake that a lot of day traders make is picking the exact spot to get into a stock, which they're correct in most of the time, and still not being able to make money. We teach our students to take small profits when they're wrong in trades and to let the charts tell them when to get out of trades. This is the proper way to execute trades once you are in them.